welcome back to our channel so here in this video we are going to discuss the important questions of business statistics one so many of you are asking about this subject right so in this video we will discuss in detail about this subject so those students who are pursuing their uh, bcom semester 3 under usman university as a bcom computers or generals you both will have the common subject that is business statistics one okay in this video in detail we will discuss about this subject what are the problematic methods it will come what are the syllabus how question paper pattern will come hmm? what are the important questions unit wise important questions long short everything we will discuss in this video and i will going to tell the tips also to score o grade or to get past marks okay if you want to get past marks try to learn any three units which i am discussing in this video okay so first we will discuss about the syllabus total five chapters you will have okay so chapter number one is introduction introduction is purely theory basis you will not at all have any problematic in chapter number one okay so chapter number two diagrammatic and graphical representation so it's an easy thing the diagrammatic and graphic representation already you whatever from childhood whatever you are learning from since from childhood pie diagram bar diagram everything that only you will have in chapter number two and chapter number three is measure, measures of central tendency in this you will learn mean median more like that all these chapters you are having in your business statistics one syllabus okay and coming back to the question paper pattern part a will consist of 20 marks first question to eight questions you will have out of eight questions you need to attempt any five questions each carries four marks okay so part a consists of theory as well as problematic okay so some questions will come from problematic some questions will come for theory also okay including theory plus problematic attempt any five questions and coming back to the part b uh, you will have from 9th question to 13th question so in part if you are learn if you are attempting theory question try to write side by side two sides for part a questions in examination to score full marks okay so some students will write only one side of the exam uh, answer booklet so you will not at all get full marks so, okay for four marks side by side two papers is compulsory and for part b including theory and problematic they will ask attempt all questions you need to attempt each question has internal choice so ninth question a will have ninth question b will have either a or b any one question you need to attempt for uh, internal choice okay so some students will ask that uh, ma'am i have written all a ninth question a as well as ninth question b can i get double marks like that they will ask so don't uh, think like that so ninth question if you write uh, if you wrote a as well as b then marks will be considered to only one thing okay one question only they will consider the marks okay so don't do all that things in the examination and don't waste your time in the examination okay so short questions we will discuss first if you are writing short questions theory in this uh, part a try to attempt uh, uh, try to write side by side two pages in your answer booklet okay so unit number one we will discuss now unit number one these are the 10 questions which i have given for short okay this is the very much important unit number one is only theory right so only theory questions only you will have what is the limitation disadvantages of statistics what is the importance of statistics what is the definition of statistics if you learn the concept statistics then you can absolutely write all these questions uh, in uh, unit number one okay why people will have distrust of statistics because statistics is just the uh, thinking way of uh, prediction so statistics is prediction right? so that's why they will have many of the uh, people will have distrust in statistics so it's if it will not give the accurate data or accurate answer okay so like that you need to attempt all that questions in your own way okay and coming back to the unit number two first question to sixth question is for theory and seventh question if they ask problematic in part a from unit number two they will ask for percentage bar diagram they will only give all the data you need to present that uh, 
question in bar diagram okay so in examination center only graph paper will be given you don't need to carry any graph paper to the examination centers okay the center itself will give the examination the, the invigilator who is having in your class if you are asked if you ask them about the graph paper they will only give okay so don't worry about that and the functions of diagram diagram versus graph these are the very much important question and coming back to the unit number three you will not have any theory question from unit number three okay all problematic only they will ask for part a means uh, they will give some data and they will uh, tell calculate harmonic mean geographic mean geometric mean combined mean so uh, like this they will ask so try to learn problematic methods okay so problematic methods is very much important in business statistics okay and also unit number four also there will be no theory question in part a either part a or part b no theory questions will be given for unit number three to unit number five unit number three four five they will, you will not at all have any theory questions so don't uh try to waste your time uh, in the, in studying of theory okay so oh, with the theory only you can't pass this subject okay so calculate quartile deviation this is the method you will get in problematic for part a coefficient of skewness and you from unit number five types of correlation correlation probable error and positive and negative correlation these are the four questions for theory and if they ask problematic question from unit number five they will ask coefficient of concurrent deviation or coefficient of correlation these are the two methods you will get problematic from unit number five in part a okay so try to learn try to buy hard all the proformas of this particular problematic methods which you are having in your business statistics one to score full marks in your examination okay so this is all about the short questions now we will discuss the long questions so long question from unit number one you will get theory if you are attempting that question then side by side three and a half page or side by side three pages must and should you should write that much answer in your answer booklet for examination to score full marks okay i hope you are getting my point whatever i am saying so if you are attempting theory try to attempt that uh, question in your own way as well as logical way you should that answer should be related to the question okay so don't write all that unwanted stuff in that answers okay so from unit number one i have given five questions if you are if you are perfect with these five questions then definitely you can score in long 12 marks and in short four marks okay so 16 marks you can score if you learn these five questions okay so define statistics and explain its scope and importance of statistics is the most most important question from unit number one as well as sampling and various types of sampling methods and also what statistical investigation is also an important question so try to learn all these questions whichever i have given in this screen so from unit number one these five questions is very much important and these five questions is enough to score full marks from unit number one okay so don't uh, skip or don't give this lesson for choice okay from unit number two also unit number two is also an easy chapter only one theory question will be there importance of graphical presentation of data if they ask theory question from unit number two they will ask this question only importance of graphical presentation of data what are the importance you will have if you present the data in a graphically so if mostly problematic only will come from unit number two so if problematic question will ask means multiple bar diagram pi uh, pi diagram histogram uh, subdivided bar diagram these are the methods of problematic which you are going to come for examination from unit number two so if you are perfect with this uh this type of uh, methods o give curves uh, pi diagram histogram then definitely you can attempt one long as well as one short so this unit also consists of 16 marks so compulsory long question will come from problematic and one short question will also come for uh, short okay and coming back to the unit number three only three types of uh, problematic methods only will come so in the unit number three you will not at all have any theory question 
ओके डोंट लर्न एनी थियरी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर थ्री फोर फाइव एज आई ऑलरेडी सेड यू सो प्रॉब्लमेटिक मीन मीडियन मोर जियोमेट्रिक मीड दिस आर द फोर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स मीन मीडियन मोर इफ यू लर्न दिस थ्री टॉपिक्स सो फ्रॉम चाइल्डहुड फ्रॉम टेंथ क्लास वी आर लर्निंग ऑल दैट मीन मीडियन मोर दैट ओनली यू विल हैव इन योर ग्रेजुएशन ऑल्सो सो try to learn arithmetic mean median and more if you are perfect with this three then definitely you can attempt one long question in the examination from unit number 3 okay and coming back to the unit number 4 unit number 4 the most important uh, model which you are going to come for examination for problematic in unit number 4 is carl pearson coefficient of skewness this question is compulsory method problematic question will come for coefficient of skewness carl pearson coefficient of skewness only will come and uh, second uh, option whatever you are having from unit number 2 is standard deviation and coefficient of variation if you are perfect with carl pearson coefficient of skewness then absolutely you can get 12 marks in part b okay so try to learn that method and coming back to the unit number 5 only two methods only you will have and unit number 5 there will be no theory question only problematic only will come for part b so rank correlation and carl pearson coefficient of correlation if you are perfect with any one either carl pearson coefficient of correlation or rank correlation then uh, it's okay okay if you are perfect with two then it's double okay okay so try to perfect any one method out in the unit number 4 and unit number 5 definitely you will get that problematic method in part b in examination okay i hope that you got clarity about this question paper pattern so many of the students are asking about the questions as well as answers so try to learn the methods okay so don't by heart the questions and don't by heart the answers in problematic subject theories like advanced accounting or business statistics this type of subjects are having problematic okay so don't try to by heart that subjects try to learn that topics whichever i have discussed in this video so carl pearson coefficient of skewness how to calculate that uh, method means like that you need to learn okay so one two questions if you are learning uh, in each topic then it's okay absolutely okay even i am only example whenever i have uh, written all this uh, semester exams in my graduation that only i have did so i have uh, just i have to check the topic okay carl pearson okay rank correlation is there how to calculate rank correlation that only i have discussed that only i have seen that uh, topic and i have uh, practiced all that questions so previous year question paper all that uh, related to the business statistics previous year question papers whatever i am having all that uh, pdfs will be in our telegram as well as whatsapp group so if you want that uh, previous year question papers of business statistics one or else if you are having cr material so try to practice all that questions which you are having in your previous year so that questions is enough so no need to uh, Uh, no need to practice any other textbook unit wise or related important questions important questions some must then no need to do all that uh, things okay so try to learn in a smart way so instagram id whatsapp link telegram group link everything all that links will be in description and comment box and once again i want to tell you all thing is uh, our second channel link will be in description and comment box so try to subscribe the channel because why i am saying means uh, in future i am going to upload the government jobs notifications tips to crack uh, government jobs what are the techniques you need to everything related to the upsc many of the students are asking about the ias everything we will uh, discuss in our check second channel so try to subscribe that second channel so that link will be in description and comment box okay so this is all about the video i hope that you have got clarity about the business statistic one subject start your preparation from today onwards okay so many of the students are uh, giving comments right 
akka please keep 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 so i have kept uh, important questions video then it's now it's your time to start your preparation okay my time is over i have done my video i have done all that uh, important questions video i have said all that important questions to you all then it's time is yours you need to start your preparation from today onwards okay in december month you will definitely have your upcoming exams of the 2023 to 2024 okay so this is all about the video if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends also okay so those who are regular to the colleges this video might be helpful for them if you think this channel is worthful if you think that this channel is useful to the un uh, students then definitely like share and subscribe if you are li liking the video if you are commenting the video then only it will reach to the other students which you are unaware of this channel okay so that's why i will ask everyone to subscribe like share everyone like that i will ask okay if you think that this channel is worthful and this channel is knowledgeful then only you can like share and subscribe to our channel and uh, this is shivani falala and signing off bye bye